Thanks for stopping by. On this video, we are making Michael Jordan's Delmonico steak. Mm. Holy crap, that's good. First things first, we're gonna make a steak sauce. We're gonna start out with a little bit of olive oil. Got some uh, finely chopped up carrots. Some celery. Some shallots. And some ginger. Now these are all finely uh, chopped up. We're gonna go ahead and caramelize this a little bit, get some color in there. So we got a little bit of color in there, took about three to four minutes. Now we're gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna reduce this by half. So our balsamic vinegar is reduced uh, quite a bit. And all I'm gonna do is add a little beef stock. And that is it. We're gonna go ahead and let this simmer. I am gonna add some fresh cracked pepper and some salt. Give this a quick mix. Let me taste for seasoning. That's good. Go ahead and let this simmer. Let's cook us some steaks. All right, we got our Weber all heated up with the slow and sear, got it as hot as possible. Here's our beautiful uh, USDA prime ribeye. I'm gonna hit it with some uh, uh, all-purpose rub from uh, Killer Hogs. This stuff is great, I love it on steaks. So we give it about three minutes on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this off indirect. It is a thick piece of steak. We're gonna get it to 125. So it's the moment of truth. Let's do a small recap. We went ahead and, and prepped our uh, steak sauce, which is very simple. Just some, some carrots, shallots, ginger, um, celery, some uh, balsamic vinegar, some beef stock. Reduce that up. Got a nice sauce on that, very flavorful. Hit our uh, ribeye steak, our USDA prime ribeye steak with just a little bit of uh, all-purpose rub from uh, Malcolm Reed, Killer Hogs, great stuff. Cooked it till about 125 internal. We went ahead and let this rest for about 15 minutes. It's time to plate this thing up. Well, it's already on a plate. Got here is our steak sauce. And we're just gonna go ahead and just drizzle that right on top. All right, what I got here is it's a rosemary skewer that I took some portobello mushrooms, grilled them off, got some uh, sun-dried tomatoes and just made a little uh, little mushroom kebab with the rosemary. And we stick that right on top, nice and fancy. You don't need to do this step. If you got some uh, button mushrooms or any kind of mushrooms you like, you know, just saute them up, add a little sun-dried tomatoes, use it as a topper, awesome stuff. That steak sauce is killer. That is simple to make. You guys have got to give that a try. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next run. I'm going to chow.